Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Jabiru offers J430 sport plane kits. The last Hindenburg survivor passes away, and he also certifies the Aspen E5. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. An interesting piece of news to come out of the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase was that the Jabiru J430 will soon be available in kit form. The Jabiru J430 aircraft have been developed as touring aircraft with a wide cockpit, high cabin, ample legroom, and three human-sized doors. The Jabiru airframe kits are manufactured using fiber-reinforced plastic technologies, a system which offers light weight at the same time as high structural integrity. The kits come with everything needed to complete the airframe. The kit build time is typically 600 hours from start to finish, and everything has been thought of right down to resin mixing cups, mixing sticks, applicators, and brushes. The J430 is designed for the Jabiru 6-cylinder 120 horsepower Jabiru engine and features an empty weight of 825 pounds and a useful load of 850 pounds. The price of the kit is $63,950. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting news flying out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. The FAA certified the LM-100J commercial freighter, allowing the aircraft to operate from any commercial airfield in the world. In 2014, Lockheed Martin announced it would update its existing FAA A1SO type certificate for its model L382J aircraft to be marketed as the LM100J, a civil certified production variant of the C130J Super Hercules. Through the design changes, the LM100J performs as a civil multi-purpose aircraft, ideal for transporting oversized cargo. Boeing and Embraer will join together as Boeing Embraer Defense to promote and develop new markets for the C-390 Millennium Multi-Mission Airlift and Air Mobility Aircraft. The organization will only be operational after the company's joint venture receives regulatory approvals and meets closing conditions. Just in time for its 15th anniversary, the GENX engine program celebrated the delivery of the 2000th GENX engine to Boeing. With the highest pressure ratio compressor in commercial service, the GENX has the best fuel efficiency in its thrust class, enabling it to power many of the longest routes, including Qantas' 787-9 record-breaking non-stop flight from New York to Sydney last month. Elan Group Limited placed a firm purchase agreement with de Havilland Canada for 3-8400 aircraft. Headquartered in Nigeria, Elan Group has diverse business interests in real estate development, power generation, agricultural development, gas utilization, mining, maritime operations, and the aviation sector. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. A new logotype. A new factor. With a global kunden focus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Werner Gustav Donor, the last survivor of the Hindenburg disaster, passed away back on November 8th at the age of 90. 
Stoner was eight years old and with his parents and two siblings when he traveled to the U.S. aboard the Hindenburg in May of 1937. When the Hindenburg caught fire as it approached its docking station at Naval Air Station Lakehurst in New Jersey, Donor and his brother were able to jump from one of the observation windows with the help of their mother and the ground crew. His mother also escaped the burning airship, but his 14-year-old sister raced back into the burning aircraft to look for her father. She survived what was so severely burned she died later that night at a nearby hospital. Donor's father's remains were later recovered from the wreckage. Aspen Avionics' is Evolution E5 EFI has been certified by IASA. VFR and IFR capable, the STC non-TSO Evolution E5 consolidates Attitude Indicator plus DG and CDI into a single display with a rechargeable backup battery. It also includes Global Positioning System Steering Air Data Computer and Adahar starting at $4,995. Like all Aspen displays, the Evolution E5 EFI is configurable and upgradable. As the pilot's needs grow, the E5 can also be converted to the Evolution Pro Max line of displays, which enables owners to add software options like synthetic vision and angle of attack. Aspen's versatile design and open architecture provide owners a cost-effective path to upgrade their panel without unit replacement or investing in a new installation. And that was our last story of the day. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. Head over to aero-news.net for the latest aviation aerospace news any time of the day. I'll see you all right back here tomorrow for an episode of the AMA Drone Report.